celebrating a county in bloom. Hello, I'm Yolanda Vasquez and welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I am joined now in the studio by Carol Trawick, Executive's Ball Steering Committee member. Carol, it's such a pleasure to have you here in our studio. Uh, thank you, Yolanda. So we're going to talk a little bit about the ball that's coming up in December, but uh, you told me you were at the very first event 29 years ago. H how did this whole celebratory event get started? Well, I confess that it was very exciting. Uh, Betty Mae Kramer wanted to celebrate the inauguration of her husband Sid in the county council and she decided to have this big party and charge a small fee that would then the proceeds would go to the arts and everybody came and it was countywide it was like just seeing all your friends and meeting new friends and it was such a good idea she kept doing it and the arts benefited. Year after year after year. Yes. So the commitment to the arts still remains, but there's been a little bit of transformation over the, over the last several years. You had some awards involved, then you kind of pulled that out. Well, Barbara Duncan came along and decided that we needed to raise more money. And so, well, let's name an award after a business sponsor. So that started taking some uh, time. And before you knew it, there was less partying and more talking and awarding and uh, performances. So when Catherine came in, the committee, along with Catherine, decided that the county executive would present the awards and there would be arts uh, presentations and performances a separate night in October. Okay. So we've already done that and now it's party time. All right, speaking of party time, let's let the folks know when and where this will take place. This is going to be the 29th annual Montgomery County Executives Ball. When and where can uh, folks expect to right. show this, up? This year, because it's the inauguration, the inauguration happens early in the day on Monday, December 1st, and that evening at 6 o'clock at the Bethesda um, Marriott uh, Conference Center, the party begins. And so talk to me a little bit about this, this year is an inaugural ball. That's kind of different from previous years, right? Uh, well, we do it every year, mm -hmm. but every four years, it's the new administration. And so it's the new executive and the new council. Of course, Ike was reelected. Some of the council members are reelected, but there's a few new folks. So it's, um, it's just a great time. Let me say this. There's many fun parties that organizations give to raise funds in Montgomery County. The difference about this one is it's countywide. So therefore, it's networking countywide. Businesses come, government elected and department officials come, and uh, the nonprofits come. And it's a wonderful networking event. And proceeds, like we mentioned earlier, benefits the arts community. Talk to me a little bit more about that. Yes. Uh, again, over the years, what we do is try to be fair, and the arts groups participated in how the distribution is made. So it's made on a um, <clears throat> per, uh, according to size, okay. and uh, 70 arts organizations last year benefited. That's wonderful. I know you guys continuously give out grants. So what is your involvement in all of this as the steering committee member? I mean, it must be a Herculean task to put this all together. Well, I do very little, really. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm one of the uh, ongoing sponsors because uh, this is truly sponsored by private funds and corporate funds. And um, therefore, that's the, mostly my involvement. The committee is very large, very active, and it is a, hero, uh, a big task. But Catherine's leadership as the uh, chair mm -hmm. and her co-chair this year again is Tammy Darvish. And Tammy, they're very actively all involved. And when you yes. say Catherine, we mean Catherine Leggett, first Catherine lady Leggett. of Montgomery yes. County. Carol Trawick, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate My it. My pleasure. Thanks so much. And that'll do it for this edition of Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Yolanda Vasquez. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you again soon.